Welcome back guys, Carl here. And now in Power BI, we're gonna be talking about data refreshes and data sets. So how do we do a data refresh on our data sets? As we can see here, the last refresh we did was uh, 10, 11. So if I hit refresh now, I should see uh, the latest refresh on this Power BI report. Once this thing finishes cycling through, and then another thing you can do is you can also do schedule refresh. So now the latest refresh is 1115 and you can also do schedule refreshes. But before we dive into that, let's just make sure that you have a personal gateway set up. So the way we're going to look at that is we're going to go here to settings and then we're going to go down to your gateway connections now if you don't have a personal gateway or if you don't have an on-premise gateway you will see something here that lets you know that but since i've already set up mine i i shy away from doing the personal gateway and i rather do the on-premise gateway that way whenever i'm online my data is online that way um i can connect straight to my data and anything that i ever make changes on since i use microsoft office 365 I just created an on-premise gateway cluster instead of a personal gateway cluster. Now you can do both, but like I prefer the on-premise gateway. You may prefer something different. If you work for an organization, they probably already have an on-premise gateway already established for you. So you probably just reach out to some of the administrators and ask them, can they create a data cluster for you on that on-premise gateway? Now to do that, you have to go to manage connections and gateways. And once you go to manage connections and gateways, this will show you your data sources. So here are my two data sources that I have. And then here's my on-premise data gateway that I have created. Now to create that on-premise data gateway, you will go here to learn more. And then you will go into this overview and this will kind of show you how to create that on-premise gateway. You can also create a personal gateway. So to get into some of those steps and how to install that, you just come here to install an on-premise gateway. It'll give you the minimum system requirements in order to do so. Then you'll just follow these prompts to create your on-premise gateway. You can also add another gateway cluster, which is basically two machines running. So that way, if one machine fails, then you have another machine running so that your data is always online. So that's the additional option that you have with the on-premise gateway. Now let's dive into installing a personal gateway. Now let's dive into some how to use personal gateways and some of the differences between the personal gateway and on-premise gateway. I've already pulled up the documentation here. So for your on-premise data gateways, which is what I said I recommend and as well as Microsoft, they recommend it. It can be shared and reused by multiple users. It can be used by Power BI, Power Apps, Logic Apps, and Microsoft Flow. And it supports schedule refresh and live query for Power BI. Now the personal mode can only be used by you. It can only be used in Power BI and only schedule refresh is supported. So if you're working for a company and you decided to set up your own personal gateway and then you decide and then one day you decided that you wanted a career change or you wanted to elevate yourself when you leave that company whoever you transition at work to is going to be limited as far as refreshing that data because now you're going to have to figure out a way to get them permissions to all the personal things that you have stored on your personal pc which means that it's going to take a whole lot more effort to transition work from one person to the next person before you can even leave a company now if you hit the lottery tomorrow i'm pretty sure you're not going to be trying to stick around for two weeks but using an on-premise gateway that person will just be able to take over that power bi and they'll be good to go so that is the difference and this is how you will install that on-premise personal gateway but like i said i would recommend installing the on-premise gateway so that it can be shared across the organization next thing we want to look at is we want to look at some schedule refresh so if we come here to schedule refresh it's going to take us to our data set and we can scroll down here to schedule refresh now in this data set We'll have to click on that and then go into schedule refresh. We can turn on our schedule refresh and then we can set this schedule refresh to daily or we can set it to weekly. So if we set this to week and we can also change the time zone. So if we want to change that time zone, so we can set it to daily 
and we can set it to weekly if we set it to weekly we can select the date of the week that we want this schedule to refresh and we can also add time and we can do the same thing if we do it daily we can just add time and we can add blocks of time so that this will refresh in the allowed time that we wanted to so that this will receive refreshes when you want them now right now it's 11 24 where i am on a sunday and i'll just set this to 11 30 a.m and then this will be the next refresh that it will do so if i make changes to if i go to my data right now and i come here and let's see something that i can change real quick we have some dates we have let's just make a change to this customer and let's just choose margie so margie bought some soup and let's just say margie bought an, an exponential amount of soup so instead of $26 she spent $200 and we'll just put $200 there so now we see that she has made that purchase for and this should be on I try to keep this on so that I don't never have to hit save it just saves anytime I make a change and then I'll just exit out of here and then I'll just leave this up and I'll go back to our grocery store and I'll come here and just do a refresh and you and you can see here where it says the schedule refresh is for 11:30, but I just went ahead and refreshed it anyway. Back to this report, and if we come here and do a refresh, refresh on our report, now we see that that soup is actually sold for two thousand dollars. Now we have two minutes to go here, and I'll try to just do some freeze frames to show you. And I'll just put this back to like 150. So I'll put it at 150 keep that on hit save on that we're gonna leave this open just for now and we're gonna wait for so we have just about a minute and once we hit 11 30 you, you should see you should see the refresh starts to spin on its own so I'm gonna leave the mice cursor the mouse cursor here so that you can see that so that we can see that so it's it's set for 11 30 it said it's, it hadn't refreshed yet but i'll just go here and just hit refresh on this page and as you can see now it is actually refreshed so it refreshed so if we come back to our power bi report and there you see the change on that report so now you know how to create a data gateway schedule some refreshes and you know whether to use the standard personal gateway or the on-premise gateway thank you Hey, you guys have made it to the end. I am so proud of you. You have made a lot of progress. You're one step closer to becoming the subject matter expert in Power BI for your work group or just for your own personal use. So now when a friend calls you and say, how do you do that one thing in Power BI? Now you know you can move forward with confidence and knowing that you have basically done all of the basics which can be done in Power BI. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys' comments, to seeing you guys' progress, and you guys sharing your stories. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Let's continue to learn on the go as we grow. This has been Carl Huff. I really enjoyed teaching you guys and showing you guys all the things that you can do in Power BI. We'll catch you guys in the future. One last thing. Make sure that you take some time, go down in the comments, and give me your honest feedback. I love feedback. I want to see how I can get better, how I can continue making these courses and improving on myself to help you. All right. So take some time, go down in the comments, leave some honest feedback. And you know what I always say. Thank you for the feedback. Peace.